Okay, uh, hello everyone. Um, just thought I'd make another uh, video recording, uh, this time of um, a, uh, some updates to the uh, drum pad mapping. Um, so there's two recent changes I made. Uh, one is the ability to save your drum pad to your uh, current FL Studio project. Um, the, the one thing I had to do um, to actually get this to save, because it's a little bit tricky, was I had to embed the um, the mapping into one of these track names is actually this one here. Um, so what will happen is uh, while you're mapping the uh, drum pad buttons, you'll see the this track name, this mixer track name actually get changed. Um, and it'll contain a string that basically um, provides all the information about the, uh, the drum mapping information you provided. Um, so that that's nice. Um, and uh, I, I, if uh, until FL Studio provides a better API where I can um, provide some uh, embed some user parameters into the project, um, you know this is the only way to, to save uh, configurable values. Um, so the other thing that I did was that uh, I enabled loopback, uh, loop playback for the drum pads. Um, so if you record a sequence and you want to play in a loop, um, you can actually do that now. Um, and it's actually quite nice. Um, I, I thought I'd demo that feature because um, it, for me, it feels a little bit nicer than um, you know working with the transport uh, record. And reason being is because um, if you try to record a sequence or pattern, um, you know if you stop it too slow, uh, you'll actually end up recording a little bit of silence before the pattern's looped, and then then it means you have to go back to keyboard, um, and then edit out the silence um, before getting it to loop correctly. Um, so, you know, with, uh, with these uh, drum pads, I can actually record an end um, on the beginning and the last note um, and cut out that initial and ending silence, which is kind of nice. Um, so uh, I thought I'd try to, um, you know, do a workflow uh, showing this. Um, I'm a terrible musician, so you know, uh, I apologize beforehand uh, for my horrible music or attempt to compose music, um, but you know, I'll try to do something first. Um, so right now I have a blank project, um, you know, just to show you uh, I haven't done anything. And uh, I'll just go ahead and start adding some instruments that may be useful. Um, I'll throw in a piano, um, let's see, and so that I can control this in analog lab. I'll put this in. Uh, port 10, and then uh, I'll move this out of the way so we have the video. And then the nice thing is, um, you know, this is now configurable via the analog lab button. Uh, so, and let me add a flex plugin, and you know, I could scroll through all of these and just do it here, which is easier. So, just string these. Okay, and then uh, let's do some initial. Let's see, this one we don't want. Okay, let's take this one. Sounds nice. Okay, and then let's reprogram this one to. Oops, program that again. Oh. So switch back. Okay. And then, okay. And then hi hats. Maybe that one. Okay. And then, oops. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, and then let's do piano chords. Okay, 
let's see, what should I do? Um, okay, let's see, that's a simple chord. Good. And let's do the loop. So I'll press the sustain pedal and I press this to loop. And then it'll just keep repeating. Um, and the nice thing is when it's looping, you can actually record other stuff on top of it. Okay. Uh, so this is doing this because the beat is off. I want a slower beat so that the silence is longer. Uh, slower BPM, let's say 100. Okay, let's slower this more. Um, so that silence between um, you know one loop to the next is based on the BPM. Um, and you can adjust it uh, however you want, or you could just replay it. Um, I should probably add another feature where you can adjust that silence. Uh, I have to think how to do that still. So. Okay. Let me make a faster beat, that would be easier. Let's go back to 120. See how that sounds. And let's do this. Okay, close enough. And let's add some violin. Start it right now. Yeah. Okay, and then the loop I have to press the sustain pedal, but I have to time this correctly too. Okay, I'm gonna kill the loop. That doesn't sound good. And then to stop the loop, um, you basically press it. And uh, what happens is it'll let the current iteration of the loop finish before actually stopping. Um, okay, um, anyway, that was just a quick demo um, and my horrible composition skill. Um, but I try to give you a general idea of what the entire workflow looks like with the current script. Um, I didn't use any of the transports mainly because this is more like performance, but you know, I could have um, you know, recorded this. Right. Not starting. Um, 
And then to stop this loop, you know, you have to manually um, kill it with the... Oh, did I break it? <laughs> oh wait, probably it's this one, okay. Um, yeah, so uh, there is no... I, I did think about trying to map the stop button on the transports to this, but unfortunately this um, button is on a separate script than these drum pad keys, and they have no way of communicating with each other. So it was. It, there's no way right now to have these buttons affect the drum pad, which would be nice if I could, but they don't. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, so that's the demo for now. Um, you know, leave any comments, um, or if you have any um, feature ideas, uh, let me know. Um, right now I feel like, uh, you know, the remaining is just polishing up the script. So maybe changing the drum pad uh, lighting states for, you know, when it's playing back, when it's looping. Um, I'm trying to reach out to Arturia to see if I can get more information about the color code um, and how to set these um, the color for these buttons. Um, but I did read from you know other developers who try to contact Arturia that uh, that apparently it's proprietary information. So I don't know if they're going to divulge any of that information, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, if you have any comments, you know, feel free to leave any. Um, any comments you know, either on this YouTube video or in the, um, the image line form. Okay, that's it for now.